Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about directional terms, which lets us identify what part of the body we are talking about. So if I were to tell you to uh, show me your dorsal side or show me your inferior, uh, something inferior to your chest or something superficial versus deep, you need to be able to respond appropriately. So we call them directional terms because it tells us what direction to face the body or to turn the body. So we're going to start over here with this uh, little lady. Thankfully, she's got a bathing suit on. Pretty much everybody else was naked on, on the, the picture, so I didn't choose those. But this one has a lot of interesting things uh, listed on her. First of all, one of the most important things is the difference between right and left. Now, I know you know what the difference between right and left is, but you'll have to remember that most of the times when you're looking at x-rays or MRIs or images, or diagrams, whatever, it's usually the person facing you. So their right is your left, and their left is your right. And so when we learn the anatomy of organs, it's going to be very important to remember that it's always flip-flopped, okay? So that's kind of a very important one. It sounds really simple, and you're like, oh, I'm not going to mess that up, but you really got to think. You got to put yourself into the perspective that they're turned around and facing you. Okay, the next one is called the medial and lateral. Now, medial kind of sounds like the word medium, which kind of means in the middle. And so that makes this one easy to remember. If you were to cut right down the middle, that means anything closer to the middle is medial. So I could say that her, um, her appendix is medial to her hip bone because it's more towards the middle. I could say um, her heart is more medial to her lung, so it's more towards the middle. So anything that's toward the middle or the midline we refer to as medial, M-E-D-I-A-L. Okay, now opposite of that, if it goes out away from the midline, then we call that lateral. The word lateral literally means the side. So anything that goes away from the body towards the side is lateral. So her thumb is lateral to her pinky in this particular position. This position she's in is actually called the anatomical position. Um, face forward, feet straight, and palms pointed out, head uh, facing straight as well. So we call that the anatomical position. And so in anatomical position, the thumb is always lateral to the pinky. Now, usually you don't walk around with your palms facing out, but the other way around. But in terms of making sure we all speak the same language, we always refer to the palms being out. Okay, so her shoulder is lateral to her chest bone. Her ear is lateral to her nose. It's away from the midline. So medial towards the middle, so her nose is more medial than her eyes and then lateral more towards the outside. Okay, next one is proximal versus distal. Proximal just means closer to the body, and so distal means farther from the body. So her shoulder is proximal to her body, whereas her hand is distal to her body. Her feet are distal, her knees are proximal because they are closer to the main portion of her body, okay? So proximal means closer to the core, closer to the middle, and distal means farther away. So the top of her head is distal, her fingers are distal, her toes are distal. Okay, so we've got right versus left is opposite. Medial and lateral, medial towards the middle, lateral to the outside. We have distal, far away from the body, proximal, close to the body. Okay, now the next two, we have superior versus inferior. Superior means towards the head. Inferior means, means towards the bottom. Now, because of the way that we stand, our bottom is our feet. But if you're a cat, meow, that's a cat, believe it or not, 
then inferior would be that way because here's the bottom there since they don't stand up you can even say the tip of the tail is inferior because it's away from the head so it's kind of another way instead of saying towards the bottom you could also say away from the head would be the same thing towards the head or away from the bottom either way works so inferior below superior above and just think about in terms of just English language if someone is superior to you they are above you if someone's inferior to you they are below you okay now this guy right here we notice we uh, rotated him 90 degrees facing uh, her and so we can see some of the same things here superior towards the head inferior towards the bottom proximal towards the body distal away from the body okay now what we have different here is right here anterior and posterior okay now we all know you probably had someone tell you in your life that you need to sit on your posterior well that's just kind of a fancy name for your bum the posterior but it refers to the back side not just that back side but the whole back side so posterior means on the back side of the human and anterior means the front side or the belly side another way or another terms that we can use for this is ventral and dorsal so you know on a shark or a dolphin or no it's a shark okay that fin right there what is that called it's called a dorsal fin why because it's on his dorsum or his back it is posterior to him so he has a dorsal fin or a posterior fin now if he had a fin grown out his chin well we'd call that his anterior chin or we could say that um, if it's on his belly maybe it's his ventral uh, ventral fin because it's on his belly side so belly side ventral or anterior dorsal side posterior or dorsal okay then we have superficial and deep if you've ever heard oh it's just a superficial wound well that means you got a cut that's more towards the outside of the body so a superficial wound could probably just heal with some stitches isn't that bad but deep means the further into the body you go so a superficial abdominal wound would probably have some bleeding maybe some muscles showing okay but if we go past the muscles and we can see guts inside well that's definitely deep a deep uh, situation so doctors will refer to injuries as being either superficial or deep which also indicates the severity of the injury as well okay then we have down here intermediate and uh actually sorry just intermediate intermediate means just between in the middle of so like your sternum is intermediate to your ribs okay your uterus is intermediate to your hip bones your nose is intermediate to your eyeballs okay so it's between two other things it's in the middle of is kind of an easy way so like if you got an intermediate score on a test you want to have the greatest test you want to have the worst test you have somewhere in the middle so intermediate just means in the middle of okay now on the next page we have a couple other terms we already talked about proximal and distal proximal closer to the body distal away from the body but now we have ipsilateral and contralateral ipsilateral means on the same side of the body so this guy's left hand and left foot are ipsilateral they are on the same side of the body and contra just like contrast conjure I can't think of any other words that have contra in it although you guys are all probably telling me five right now contra means basically the opposite oh I pinched there we go and contralateral so contra means opposite sides so now we have a left foot and a right foot are contralateral to each other so if it's on the same side we call it ipsilateral and if it's on two opposite sides <clears throat> we call it contralateral so oh no I've been in an accident I chopped off both of my hands oh there's an ipsilateral amputation of the distal phalanges 
Don't you sound smart when you say that? Just means I chopped off my fingers and my toes on the same side. Okay, oh, I've been in another accident. Oh, I chopped off the distal phalanges contralaterally to each other. That means I cut them off on opposite sides of each other. So contra, just remember, contrast, opposite. Ipsa, I can't think of anything that goes with that. Ipsa just means the same. So same side, remember lateral means side. Contra, lateral, opposite side. All right, and then my two favorite things, prone and supine. These refer to positions that you lay the patients in when doing uh, some sort of surgery or any, any sort of work on a person. Prone means that you are laying face, oh, whoa, my pen is going crazy, ah, sorry. Prone means that you are laying face down like this lovely gentleman is planking on this tiger for some odd reason, but he is face down. Now I think of the word prone as if you are prone to accidents, you're more likely to get injured by accidents. When you are prone, you are vulnerable. And so when you're face down and your back is, is up, you are uh, prone to get injuries on your back. Uh, you're more liable to hurt something. So I kind of think of it that way. I'm prone because my back is exposed and making me vulnerable. And then we have supine, which just means flat on your back. Most operations are done in the supine position because of easy access to all your internal organs. There are some, like if you did any sort of back surgery for scoliosis, you would be lying on the table prone, but it also makes it difficult to get at your airway. But in the supine position, it straightens out your airway, makes it easy to put in a breathing tube, and allows easy access to most of your organs in here. Okay, so prone, face down, supine, belly up. Okay, so let's take a look at this lovely cat here. I want you to try to find all the different things on here. So why don't you just take a second and pause me and see if you can like draw lines too or just kind of point out what you can find. And then what I'm gonna do is I will tell you or give you certain examples. There's no one right answer for these. Um, so you may have something similar too, but just uh, you know different organs chosen. Okay, so put me on pause now. Did you pause me? You should have, okay. So now what we're gonna do is see how you did. So superior, if you go back to the definition, superior means towards the head. So we would say, you know, like a little arrow that way, superior, and then down this way, or you could even say, you know, down towards the feet, inferior. So you kind of imagine that the cat is cut in half this way. Now on a four-legged animal, the transverse Remember, here's a little person right here. And we chop them in half, we call that horizontal or the transverse or cross section. Well, notice on a cat, since they're bent over, their horizontal kind of becomes vertical. And so I would get my uh, cross sectional slice vertically. It's kind of weird. So then what would be my frontal section would be a slice this way to chop them into a back and a front half. And then what's the other one? Coronal, okay? So we've got our horizontal, which is technically vertical in this case. We've got our frontal or coronal, frontal and coronal are the same. And then we have the one where we slice it right in half. So we would chop them here and then it would continue down along his back and his belly and it would cut him into a left and a right half. So four-legged animals are slightly different in these uh, in the terminology for these. Okay, anterior would be towards a hiney. Post, what? I'm sorry, I got that backwards. Let me try it again. Anterior means towards the head. Posterior means towards the booty. Okay, medial and lateral. So medial, like the belly button of the cat would be medial. The legs would be lateral. So when our little kitties are splayed out, ready for us to, uh, chop open. This is a very poor drawing of what your cat's going <laughs> to look like. Use your imagination. Okay, so medial incisions will be cut right down the middle. Lateral incisions will go down along the side. Okay, uh, supine and prone. 
So is my kitty supine or is my kitty prone? Well, because he is standing up and his back is facing up, he is prone. How can I turn my kitty supine? Watch this. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. Now I got a supine kitty. Meow. <laughs> All right, let's turn him back around. Oh, whoa, sorry, cat. Uh, dear. All right. Okay, intermediate. Um, his nose is intermediate to his eyes. His tongue is intermediate to his whiskers. His belly button is in intermediate to his hips on either side. So just anything in between. Proximal, his elbow is proximal to his foot, so closer to the body. That means his foot is distal to his elbow, farther away from. Superficial would be like his fur or anything on his skin would be something superficial. Deep, if we were to uh, make a huge incision in our kitty and see some insides, that would be a deep incision. And then the last one's ipsilateral and contralateral. This foot and this foot are ipsilateral, and this foot and this foot are contralateral, or the ears are contralateral because they're on opposite sides. This ear and this foot are ipsilateral because they're on the same side, okay? So we got to be able to take all these terms and apply them not to only humans, but also to kitty cats because we'll be doing a lot of that. All right, get practicing on yourselves. We're going to label each other tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow.